I've done a handful of videos on how to go tapeless on this channel, but all of those ways have been analog. I've never done a video on how to go tapeless in a digital way. Well, that's where the Sony HVR MRC1 comes in. I'll be showing you how it works, how to use it, and kind of give it a little bit of a review. So, let's go tapeless. Hey there, welcome back to my camera collection. If you're new around here, we like to check out retro camcorders from the 80s, 90s, 2000s, and mid 2000s. So if you're into retro tech or even retro camcorders in a whole, maybe consider subscribing. So we're not re reviewing a camera today, we are reviewing a recorder today. And this is a digital recorder made by Sony, the Sony HVR MRC1. You may or may not have heard of this, but this is a really, really handy device here and it will eliminate any need to use a videotape. I got this from a friend on my Discord page. I'll leave a link in the description below if you wanna go check out that Discord. But he sold me this little recorder and another camera for about 350 bucks, which is a crazy deal. So this came all the way from Vietnam and so did the other camcorder. So what exactly is this little thing? Well, this is a digital recorder that will work with any camcorder that uses Firewire. So you can use this with mini DV. So just like DV cameras, you can use them with DV cam and you can use them with HDV camcorders. So any kind of mini DV camcorder will work with this little recorder. Any brand of any kind of style you want. As long as it takes Firewire, it should work with this little guy. And if you have a Digital 8, it'll work with it as well because Digital 8 uses Firewire. So you'll need a couple things for this to work. So you'll obviously need a, well, the unit itself, but this isn't just a whole unit. This whole thing actually is two separate pieces. So you have one side, I guess the back side would be the portion where the battery goes into, and this uses the same exact kind of battery as most re retro old school Sony camcorders, the Sony NP-F batteries. Along with that, it has the portion there of the firewire that goes in. So that is a six pin firewire plugin. And then you have your kind of brackets there so you can kind of tidy up your firewire cable along with your battery release here up on on top and then the other half they kind of go in together and lock together this is the whole front part and this is kind of where all of the functions are so you have to have both pieces so they don't make these anymore so you will have to find one on eBay you'll want to get the whole piece itself which is gonna cost you some some cash these will run you for about $300 if it's in working condition. You will need a Sony NP-F battery. This one is a NP-F 550 slash 570 battery by Caster. I'll leave a link to uh, a battery in the description along with a charger. You will need a six pin to four pin firewire cable because the six pin will go into the MRC and the four pin will go into your camcorder. And I recommend getting the shortest firewire cable that you can. This one's a three foot. I did find a 2.5 foot that was on, I think it was eBay. And it's one of those clear cables and don't go with one of those because those just I they're just really faulty and they just don't work right so the four pin connection was really really loose and didn't want to like almost click in lock in so it had a lot of play in there and so it didn't actually have a signal to most of my camcorders so I ended up having to send that back and I actually bought this one off of B&H photo for like three dollars so you can hop on B&H and get a three foot firewire cable or I'll leave a link in the description for for one that should work. Along with that, I recommend using some form of a, I guess a cold shoe mount for it because the MRC1 does have your quarter inch threads here on the bottom so you can attach it to something like this, one of these little uh, ball head connectors, but it also has a, a cold shoe mount here on the bottom. So if your camcorder has a cold shoe or a hot shoe on it, you can connect this to it and it will sit on top of your camcorder nice and then you don't have to worry about finding a way to attach it. Everything I am talking about, I will leave links in the description for. So if you want to buy yourself a MRC1 and then just 
piece it all together with all of the stuff that I'm talking about, you can do that or go your own way about it. Whatever works for you. So you might be wondering, well, what is the MRC1 record to? Well, it records to compact flash cards or CF cards. Now, these are SD cards technically, kind of like, but they're much, much bigger. And the highest gigabyte that it will work with is 32 gigabytes. So that should give you about an hour's worth of footage. So you can order yourself a few of these if you want, or just have one, doesn't really matter. But I'll I'll leave a link for one of these as well. You definitely want to get like one of the higher end ones so you can have like the best footage and all that as possible. So I'll leave a link to this one as well. And one more thing, you'll need a CF card reader because well, let's face it, our laptops and computers don't have CF card readers. So you can find one of these on Amazon for pretty cheap as well or even eBay, but it's a CF card reader that goes to USB and it will let your laptop or computer recognize there is a CF card connected to it. And this one's cool because you can connect CF cards, you can connect micro SD cards, regular SD cards, and a bunch of other kinds of storage units on it. So I think I paid like 12 bucks or something like this and you get all these different kinds of storage slots here that you can put your cards in and transfer it to your computer. So I'll leave a link to this as well. So what's cool about the MRC1 is you can use this with any kind of camcorder that has a broken tape deck. To show you, I have have a Sony TRV900 that has a pretty much a dead video head. The motor that spins the video head is completely dead. Not sure how that happened. We have a mini DV tape here. Okay, so it is giving me an error code of C3140. Google says that that error code is C3140 error code indicates problem with head drum motor that either does not spin or spins too fast. Take out the tape from camcorder and inspect the mechanism. You will see big round drum deep in mechanism. Rotate it with your fingers gently to make sure it is not stuck or caught by any other objects. Well, listening to the camcorder when it loads up the tape, you don't really hear any motor spinning. So the entire motor is completely dead on it. So you cannot use a tape with this camcorder unless you replace that video head drum. So you got yourself an MRC1. That doesn't even matter. Before we go forward, if your camcorder does accept tape and you just want an easy way to capture your footage while you're on the go, you can bring your uh, MRC1 with you and you can actually record your playback footage. So you can rewind the tape, hit play, and then hit record on your MRC1 and it'll record what's playing on the on the videotape onto your CF card so you can digitize it really easy that way. So if you have tapes that haven't been digitized yet or old ones and you get one of these, you can do it that way as well. So let's take the tape out, close that up, and if your camcorder has a cold shoe on it like this TRV900 does, you can slide this whole thing in there and tighten it down. And if your camcorder doesn't have a cold shoe, you can use one of those filming handles to place it up on top. And then it gives you a nice little place to wrap the cables up around and make it all tidy if you wanna use one of those as well. So we will plug our six pin side into our MRC1 and then the four pin side goes into the camcorder. I'm not gonna tidy this up just cause I'm showing you how this all works. So pretty much there you go. You got yourself a tapeless rig here and what you wanna do when you have it all set up is you always wanna make sure you turn the MRC1 on first before you turn the camcorder on. The MRC1 kinda needs to like recognize the camera and all that before you turn the camera on. I don't know why, but yeah, that's it. That's the way you're supposed to do it. You can go ahead and turn it on and it will say welcome. And then it will have the little CF logo flash. And then you'll have it come up and it will say, well, you guys definitely can't see this. It'll show you all your information and stuff. So what's cool about it too, is if you have this hooked up to, so this is just a regular DV camera or just a mini DV camcorder. It'll recognize if you're hooked up to something like this, a DV cam or a HDV camcorder and when you start recording it will switch when you start recording so it will automatically switch and all that kind of stuff so it's super useful like that it's pretty easy to use as well there's not a screen or anything that's on it so you don't really get like a monitor or anything but it will tell you how many files you have and how long you've been recording and all that kind of stuff with the little screen that's on here so now that it's on you can turn your camcorder on and let's see if we can do this here i'll zoom in for you guys and what i'm gonna do is put it up like that so you guys can see it so screen's on this is on so you're not gonna hit record on the 
camcorder itself, you're gonna hit record on the MRC1. But you're not gonna hit the red record button by itself, you're gonna hit both of the record buttons that are there, or else it won't start, it will not start recording. And if it is recording, it will have a, a light that turns on that's red. So if the camera and everything's all hooked up, ready to go, you will see the, hard to see, but there is a little red light that's flashing or on right there and you can see that it's now recording. So you push both of the record buttons, the red one and the black one simultaneously at the same time and it'll start recording. And then when you're done recording, you don't hit the record buttons again, you hit stop and it will save a file. And the other cool thing that's about, about this is you can actually use it to watch your playback. So if you switch the camcorder into playback mode and then you just hit play on the MRC1, it'll start playing on the viewfinder here. And then you can actually go in and select your files that you wanna watch and you can watch your clips back. So super cool that you can perform playback on it. So all you gotta do is just hit, you wanna watch the, the clip that you just recorded, you just hit play. So if the camera and everything's all hooked up, ready to go, you will see the, well, hard to see, but there is a red light that's flashing or just on right there. And you can see that it's now recording. So you push both of the record buttons. So there you go. It's really as easy as that. It's very, very easy. It works very well together. I'm pretty sure these were designed with Sony cameras, so they'll always work with Sony cameras unless you have some form of a Firewire port issue on your camcorder. But when you go to turn it off, make sure you turn the camera off first and then the, the MRC1, so kind of the opposite way. So turning it on, turn the MRC1 on first, then the camcorder, and then when you turn it off, turn the camcorder off first, then the Sony MRC1. And then before you start recording, you want to, when you put a new CF card in the camera, make sure you just format it and it'll kind of make it so that the MRC1 recognizes the card and you won't have any kind of recording issues and stuff like that. So if you get a new card or you get you know, all your clips and stuff digitized and it's on your computer and everything, just go ahead and format your card and then it'll be good to go for recording with uh, your cameras. So once you're done recording tapeless or capturing your footage and all that, you can take the CF card out and use your CF card reader to USB, plug it into your laptop and pretty much just grab the files and transfer them over into your computer. Pretty much just like a modern day camcorder. You got individual files on it instead of one whole long tape that you have to sit and record and watch in real time. So you can just take all the clips and just copy all of them and transfer them over to your computer and you're done. So it's way faster. So really, I think that's all you really need to know for the MRC1. It works pretty simply and it pretty much does all the recording and stuff for you. There's some stuff in the menu that you can go in and play around with if you want to. You can manually change some things in there, but for the most part, it's pretty plug and play, if you will. So yeah, if you want one of these for yourself, the people generally sell them on eBay for give or take around 300 bucks. You'll have to get yourself a Sony NP-F battery if you don't have one for yourself already, along with getting yourself a six pin to four pin Firewire cable, something like this if you want to, or you can find find a way to maybe like Velcro it or stick it to the side of your camcorder if you want. And you'll need a compact flash card or a CF card and make sure it's it doesn't go over a 32 gigabyte or else the MRC1 will not recognize it. And if you want to as well, it does have a DC in port there and it's one of those traditional Sony camcorder uh, chargers slash power supplies if you want. If you want to just power it or you can charge the battery that way as well. You can plug it, have the battery stay on here and plug the power supply in there and it'll charge the battery. So this thing is freaking cool. I love this thing. Definitely if, if you're into mini DV camcorders or digital eight camcorders, I highly recommend snagging one of these for yourself and uh, you'll, you'll definitely thank yourself for getting one of these. But that's pretty much it for this video. I hope that this was informative. Hopefully this helped you out in some kind of way. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment. I'll do my best to answer them as best as I can. If you're looking for camcorders or you wanna just support the channel, you can check out my eBay store. I'll have a link in the description. I have a few camcorders on there as well. And then with all the links that I was talking about earlier for everything to be compatible with this and get this MRC1 working, those will be Amazon affiliate links. So anything you buy through those links, you'll be supporting the channel that way. And make sure to check out my Discord server. So that'll do it for this tutorial on the Sony MRC1, kind of. If you want to check out some other ways of going tapeless, uh, you can tap or click the screen up above. And if you want to watch my previous video, you can clack or 
clack. You can tap or click the screen above as well. And that'll do it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. And if you enjoy the content, make sure you subscribe because we talk about old school retro camcorders almost on a weekly basis. And on that note, we'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.